wet suction versus slow pull technique for endoscopic ultrasound guided fine needle biopsy, a multi center randomized crossover trial. Introduction Endoscopic ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration, EUS FNA, has become an essential tool for the diagnosis of solid pancreatic and non pancreatic lesions with 85% sensitivity and 98% specificity. Several factors have been previously evaluated to optimize outcomes of EUS FNA, such as use of rapid on-site evaluation for immediate cytopathological assessment, use of needles of different calibers and types, number of needle passes, and different sampling techniques. In the past decade, new EUS needles for the acquisition of histological specimens, i.e. endoscopic ultrasound-guided fine needle biopsy, EUS FNB, have been developed to overcome the limitations of cytology, facilitating the differential diagnosis of rare conditions through performance of specific immunohistochemical staining and obviating the need for rapid on-site evaluation. Two end-cutting needles, the fork-tip needle and the franzine-type needle, have shown excellent histological yields with comparable diagnostic performance in two randomized controlled trials and two meta-analyses. Importantly, EUS FNB samples have been demonstrated to be suitable for next-generation sequencing when containing a tumor fraction of 20% or more, either for pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma or pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. Consequently, current practice has almost completely shifted from EUS FNA to EUS FNB. Different sampling techniques have been introduced and compared with the standard suction technique, including the slow pull and wet suction techniques. With standard suction, the stylet is removed and an air filled pre vacuum 10 or 20 milliliter syringe is attached to the proximal end of the needle and opened once inside the lesion to apply negative pressure suction. In the slow pull technique, negative pressure is created by slowly withdrawing the stylet from the needle. In the wet suction technique, the needle is flushed with saline to replace the column of air and a pre vacuum. 10 milliliter or 20 milliliter syringe is utilized to apply suction. The standard suction and slow pull techniques have been widely studied for EUS FNA. A recent meta analysis, including seven randomized controlled trials comparing them for sampling of solid pancreatic lesions, demonstrated similar adequacy and accuracy with less blood contamination for the slow pull method. The wet suction technique has been introduced more recently, and two randomized controlled trials comparing standard and wet suction for EUS FNA reported significantly higher specimen cellularity, adequacy, and accuracy with wet suction, both for solid pancreatic and non pancreatic lesions. To date, a single center pilot randomized controlled trial has evaluated different sampling techniques on EUS FNB of solid pancreatic lesions, comparing standard, slow pull, and wet suction methods using both the fork tip and franzine type needles. No difference in cellularity scores or blood contamination were found, regardless of the technique or needle type used. However, the small sample size, inclusion of only solid pancreatic lesions, and the single center design did not allow definitive conclusions to be drawn, leaving these issues still open for further evaluation. The authors performed a multi-center randomized controlled trial with the primary aim of comparing the histological yield of EUS FNB using the slow pull and wet suction techniques in patients with pancreatic and non-pancreatic solid lesions. Secondary aims included evaluation of sample quality, tumor fraction, and diagnostic accuracy. Methods this was a multi-center, randomized, single-blind, crossover trial, including patients with solid lesions of 1 cm or more. Four needle passes with 22-gauge fork-tip or franzine-type needles were performed, alternating the wet suction and slow-pull techniques in a randomized order. The primary outcome was the histological yield, i.e. samples containing an intact piece of tissue at least 550 micrometers. Secondary endpoints were sample quality, i.e. tissue integrity and blood contamination, diagnostic accuracy, and adequate tumor fraction. Results 
Overall, 210 patients with 146 pancreatic and 64 non-pancreatic lesions were analyzed. A tissue core was retrieved in 71.4% using the wet suction technique and in 61.4% using the slow pull technique. The mean tissue integrity score was higher using wet suction, as was the blood contamination of samples. In the two subgroups of pancreatic and non-pancreatic lesions, tissue core rate and tissue integrity score were not statistically different using the two techniques, but blood contamination was higher with wet suction. Diagnostic accuracy and tumor fraction did not differ between the two techniques. Conclusion Overall, the wet suction technique in EUSFNB resulted in a higher tissue core procurement rate compared with the slow pull method. Diagnostic accuracy and the rate of samples with adequate tumor fraction were similar between the two techniques.